people, it's me again. And today I've got some hot tips for you for selling in a recession, for successfully selling in a recession. Now, you know, uh, whether or not we're in a recession right now or going into a recession is up for debate. But either way, these tips will work for you whether we're in a recession or not. Um, and it's better to be prepared, right? So, you know, timing is everything when you're selling. Springtime is great. Times when there's a shortage of inventory is great. Um, there's there's time even holidays is great because you only get the serious buyers. But during a recession, everything that you would normally do to get your house ready for sale and to get it sold, it's kind of multiplied, right? You got to work a little bit harder and make it a little bit better than everything else. So the first thing we're going to talk about is getting your home into shape. Now, you want to make sure that any deferred maintenance, any of those little repairs that you were talking about doing but never got around to, um, the unfinished jobs that you were working on that you didn't quite get done, those are the things that you really want to finish because you want your house to be in tip-top, absolute best shape. You also want to make sure it is as clean as it can possibly be. Now, that goes for any time that you're selling, but um, again, you want to make sure you stand out. So get those windows professionally cleaned. If you need something power washed, get that taken care of. If there's some touch-up painting that needs to be done, all of those things you want to get done. All right, so that's tip number one. Tip top shape, make it sparkle. Number two, curb appeal. Okay, this is still really part of number one, but First impressions matter, right? Whether you're talking about a person or a house or a job or whatever it is, your first impression sticks. So you wanna make sure the outside of your house, when people are driving by, checking out that for sale sign and writing down the number, it looks absolutely spectacular. So that means, you know, maybe freshen up your plants, um, put some new mulch out there, some wood chips, get everything cleaned up and looking as good as it can. Uh, is the paint on the door a little messed up? Or maybe it's just kind of dull. Put a bright red door out there. Do some things that your realtor can absolutely give you some tips on and get the outside looking as pretty as it possibly can. And it doesn't necessarily mean you gotta put a lot of money into it, but maybe you gotta put some time in, okay? There are some really inexpensive ways. I know the city of Oceanside and a lot of the cities around here offer, um, free wood chips and mulch, or, you know, you can pick up a lot of that stuff for free. So check with your realtor to see how you can do that cheap. All right, so now your house is all ready to go, right? You're ready to get it listed, and you're talking about prices with your with your realtor. Make sure you don't overprice right now, okay? There is nothing worse than a house that's been sitting on the market. Everybody wants to know what's wrong with it, and the longer it sits, the worse it gets. If you overprice from the beginning, it's likely that you'll probably get less than you would have if you had priced it competitively at the start. Um, you don't want it getting stale. Everybody wants to know what's wrong with that house. Why isn't it selling? So make sure you talk to your local agent and get it priced right from the start. So now here's where a really great agent comes in because the third thing you want to think about is Getting the advertisement right. Your house has got to be advertised effectively. The marketing has to be perfect. So in today's market, you want to make sure, this is what I tell everybody, when I meet somebody the first time and I'm going into their home, even if you don't pick me, make sure whoever you pick absolutely bare minimum gets professional photography. Um, I'm still amazed at how many homes don't have professional photos and there's nothing that's more important in your marketing than the pictures because that's what everybody sees. Those photos go out across all the websites. You know, we advertise on, I think we have over 700 websites. We use social media to advertise, right? You, those photos have to be great or people scroll right by it and don't even see. Any kind of print marketing, your flyers, your photos are on all of that stuff. You want to make sure that your agent is marketing your home to the nines, all right? Whatever it is that needs to be done, whether it's open houses, and your agent can tell you what works in your market. But I know here, I do a ton of social media marketing, and you wouldn't believe how many people we get coming off of, of those ads. So it's a really great way to get that out there. Um, so, you know, obviously, we're going to lead right into, I probably already said it, 
you got to choose the right agent because if you have an agent who puts it on the MLS and walks away, then you're not getting all of the views that you need, right? The more people who see your home, the more people who come and visit your home, the more likely you are to get offers or multiple offers. And, and once you get that second offer in, that gives you the ability to really bump up the purchase price. And that's what you want, right? So make sure your agent is good, you know? And if you're not in my area and you want some tips on how to find a great agent, you can call me for that too. All right, so finally, this is the one that you're not gonna wanna hear. You gotta be prepared to negotiate. Um, nothing, well, I shouldn't say nothing, but very rarely do we have something that gets all the way to the end and it's exactly the same price day one as it was at the end, right? But there are other things besides money that needs to be negotiated. There are terms, there's time frames, there's repair requests, um, there, there's so much more. Move out dates, there's a lot that goes into the negotiation process and you really want to make sure you have somebody on your team who can negotiate for you and get you what you want or get you darn close to it. So you walk away with a smile and hopefully so do your buyers, right? Because we want everybody happy in the end. So if you have any questions about any of that, please give me a call or send me a message. Let me know how I can help. I would love to answer your questions, all right? I will see you soon.